Hello YouTube, it is about a week later, second video, uh, I had my birthday, granddaughter did my nails, stubs, um, gonna talk about what sold, because that's one of the things I like to watch, so let's get right into it. Uh, the first item that I sold, picked it up at a tag sale where there's a bunch of uh, older retired people, it's pretty cute, uh, about two inches long it said made in england on the bottom and it was a uh, figural cast bronze match holder and striker in the shape of an old shoe and it had a little tiny mouse on the top of the shoe and it weighed about eight ounces i bought it for two dollars and it sold a few months later for 24.97 plus shipping Next up is three deck pack of Canasta playing cards. I remember the adults in my family playing Canasta occasionally. I think it was just an excuse to drink. <laughs> three pack of cards. It was sealed. It was still all the decks were still sealed. Um, it came with the rules in the original box. It was from 1950. Uh, it still had the tax stamps on them. That made it more valuable. I got this at Goodwill for three dollars. Sold for twenty nine ninety seven plus shipping, and I just put it in a uh, padded flat rate. This I got for a dollar fifty at a tag sale last summer. I didn't have to guess what it was because it said it on the packaging that it came in. Uh, Nintendo Game Boy Advance to Nintendo GameCube adapter link cable connector thingy um so i got 12 bucks for it plus shipping this was another tag sale find it was new sealed from 93 or 94 gi joe battle Corps night creeper leader action figure i was out tag selling with my future grandson-in-law um, matt and he actually picked this up i didn't catch it but he did and he said here get this I'm like okay I didn't know if he wanted it or he just thought I should get it but turned out to be a good score for just a couple dollars at the tag sale because I got 60 bucks for it 59.97 plus shipping I um it did have a bend in the card and I took pictures of it and added it to the description and then I just got a feedback for it today the guy left a positive feedback but he said something about the the way i packed it, it bent the card but he just must not have seen it in the description or the photos I, I think that sometimes when people buy things off their phone they don't see all of the um, descriptors and they can't exactly enlarge the photos like they can on a desktop up next this was a tag sale find from last summer. I said to the guy, is this a camera? <laughs> Cause it kind of looked like a camera, but I didn't see any buttons on it anywhere. And all it said was L-Y-T-R-O, Lytro. So it turns out that this guy was part of the crowdfunding when the inventors of the Lytro camera first came out with it. First generation, eight gigabyte electric blue camera and it's really cool because it's a depth of field camera so basically after you take a photo you can focus in on right up front or way in the background which makes it kind of awesome and that's after you take the photo it's crazy paid a little bit up for it i think i paid 15 he was asking 20 and i think i paid 15 for it it sold just this week for 59.97 plus shipping this was a goodwill find the red sox fenway park tapestry it was dated 2004 i quickly looked it up when i was in goodwill i thought it might be a decent flip i paid eight dollars for it and it just sold for 47.97 plus ship this was one, oh this was a huge it was a tag sale and the guy had tons of tools everywhere i don't know a lot about tools but 
and I don't even know why I picked this up, but it was, I thought it was like a bullet maker, like an old thing to make, um, those round bullets, whatever the heck they're called. Um, it's a Herder's Model 4A8 split shot sinker mold, and it said Waseca, Minnesota on it. I guess it's an antique, um, fishing tackle thing where you can make your own sinker molds with lead. Whatever. Um, I don't think I paid much, probably 50 cents for it, and I sold it for 10 bucks plus shipping. Next up is this, oh, it was, oh, found this on the next town over at the Goodwill. They had just pulled the bins out of the back room, and I'm like, there's a sealed box. I'm gonna grab that, whatever it is, says $20 on it. It's brand new, Philips Viva Collection soup maker didn't even know they made soup makers who knew you needed a soup maker <laughs> i had a 99.97 asking price uh the woman that ended up buying it sent me a best offer for 70 something dollars and i countered with um 87 and she accepted that offer she initially told me she could get it cheaper elsewhere but thought that uh, she'd be able to get it through me uh, faster, and it was for mom's birthday, so it was important that she got it fast. Oh, and she wrote back after she received it saying thank you, and that it was perfect. So, up next, I was on a local website where this person was giving away things for free. So I picked up an entire garbage bag full of vintage neckties. It was a very time consuming process going through these neckties and I learned a lot of lessons so far and I'm still going through them. I have another bag, one of those giant garbage, black garbage bags full of uh, vintage wide 1970s disco looking neckties. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet. This lot of 25 vintage neckties um, came to two and a half pounds. So it's just a mixed lot of uh, neckties that I sold for crafting purposes. A lot of the ties in that first bag that I got had uh, like small stains or they were wrinkled. And I learned a lot about silk in researching. Wrinkled, it's really hard to get the wrinkles out. And these were all just shoved in a bag, so. But the polyester ones aren't as wrinkled. I listed four lots. I've sold this one lot. I have three others still up available. Um, the lot sold for $14.97. And I got all the ties for free. So that's straight profit. Unless you count my time. I don't want to talk about it. Next up, tag sale last summer. It was um, for a nonprofit. They had a whole box full of hats, so I pretty much bought them all. Uh, and this was one of them. And it had the logo for the 75th anniversary from 1991 for the San Diego Zoo. And it was uh, new with tags, new old stock. I got $30 for it, I believe. Hold on, let me double check. Nope, I was asking 30 and I got 2178 because it was on sale. Okay. Plus five dollar shipping. I'm sure that weren't first class. Oh. And that's the last item that I have pulled aside for having sold. So that was ten things that sold last week for me on eBay. I did sell a couple of things locally also. The day that I got the soup pot at the Goodwill in the next town over, I also picked up a brand new, right out of the bin again, um, gate that goes between the seats in, the, in a car. Not to keep your kids apart, because that would be a good idea, but to keep your dog from eating all your groceries. Picked that up for $20 also and sold it for 40 Quick flip. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click thumbs up because that really helps.
especially when you're just getting started on these. Alright, peace. Thanks.